I know you are probably tired of hearing about COVID-19, but there is a new variant called FLIRT. I'm being told by scientists here at the Wastewater Testing Program at UNLV that they've actually identified this new variant in our wastewater here in Las Vegas. I'm Abel Garcia sitting down with the man who leads this program to find out whether or not this is concerning for us here at home. COVID-19 is still a concern nationwide, and now two new variants scientists have nicknamed FLIRT are showing up here in the valley. Insecure, unsure. You just don't know. You just don't know if you're going to get it. You're going to get it. That's how Las Vegas resident Monica Myers tells me she feels about these new variants. I haven't had a COVID shot because Sure enough, I think I'd get it because that's how delicate my uh, immune system is. Meyer says at her age, she hopes Flirt won't pack a punch here in Las Vegas. We've seen the frequency of this virus, um, this specific variant, pick up. Dr. Edwin O, who leads UNLV's wastewater testing program, says his group was one of the first in the country to detect these new variants in our wastewater back in late March. We, we see it around uh, the Strip, um, Las Vegas Strip, and it's not surprising. We get a lot of tourists. Dr. O says FLIRT consists of KP.2 and KP.1.1. These variants are part of COVID's Omicron strain. Is this something that is concerning? Is Are the levels going up? in comparison to other variants that have really skyrocketed over time. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that's a really, really important question. The amount of virus that we're seeing in the wastewater relative to what we were seeing when Omicron first entered into a community um, is very, very, very much um, smaller um, um, in scale. Dr. O says they continue to collect samples from 20 to 30 different spots all over the valley, from Moapa to Boulder City, keeping an eye out and taking action to tackle the changing danger of COVID-19 variants. It does kind of put off some alarm bells for sure. Others, like Felicia Jackson, are surprised COVID is still here. This is here to stay, you know, and it's it sucks to say that it's still here four years later and it's still affecting families. Um, I just pray that one day that it's no longer affecting anyone. Again, Dr. O says that the levels that we are seeing of this new COVID-19 variant remain pretty low and they will do everything they can to continue to track it and inform us as soon as they have an update. Reporting from the University of Las Vegas, I'm Evo Garcia.